hello everyone welcome or welcome back again to my channel i hope you all are doing perfectly fine today i share with you this delicious meat pie recipe one of the easiest meat pie you will ever think of you will love this so all you have to do is to sit back and enjoy if you are new to my channel hello this is cooking with if you are do it to subscribe and be part of this beautiful family now without wasting my time let's dive right in to begin with everything i'll start by making my meat pie fillings and i'll be using sausage for this meat pie recipe you can use any protein of choice so now i'm going to fry this on low medium heat for about two to three minutes and it should be ready don't forget as well to keep an eye on it and check it from time to time because it's very very important and after about two to three minutes this is how it looks like it looks all fried and just perfect so moving forward i'll go in with some vegetable of choice for my choice of vegetables i'm going to be using chopped carrots onions next i'll also go in with some green pepper i have some cabbage which i'll also go in with it but since i don't love salt veggies i'll go in with the cabbage later on so now let's give everything in a good mix just the way you see it in the screens right now and whilst that is done i'll go in with some seasoning of choice and for seasoning of choice i'll be using some garlic ginger and onion powder curry powder and also a little bit of salt to taste feel free to add the seasonings according to your taste okay i'll give everything a good mix and lastly i'll also go in with some cabbage as i said i'll be going in with the cabbage but i don't love soft veggies so it's going to be the last vegetable that i'll go in with it i'll stir everything together very nicely and i'll also go in with some corn starch now the cornstarch is going to help thicken up the sauce from this filling a little bit if you don't love it you can just omit the cornstarch totally after allowing to fry for about five minutes this is how it looks like it looks very delicious and very presentable and that's just perfect so i'm going to set this aside and allow it to cool down a little bit before i use it So whilst that is going on we also want to go ahead and mix our flour so to a bowl i'll go in with my all-purpose flour whilst that is done i'll go in with some nutmeg a little bit of salty taste and baking powder i'll stir everything together until all is nice and well combined moving forward i'll go in with my all-purpose butter i'll stir everything together very nicely using my hands and whilst that is done we will proceed to the next stage whilst that is going on i want to also use this opportunity to thank you all my returning subscribers and new foodie members right here you guys are amazing thank you so much for liking my videos sharing also commenting on my videos fam i am very grateful thank you so much for doing that all right so after mixing the butter with the flour this is the consistency that we should be getting and whilst that is done i'll crack in one egg I'm going to stir everything together very nicely and whilst that is done, I also go in with some milk little by little until I achieve the perfect consistency. If you don't have milk, you can also well go in with water and it works perfectly fine. Remember to go in with it little by little because it's very very important.
And your girl is on all social media platforms at Cocaine with F. Yeah, so if you haven't followed me there, kindly do that and let's vibe over there as well. Thank you so much for doing that. All right, so after mixing, we have the right consistency right now and perfect dough. So we're going to use our rolling pin to roll out the dough just the way you see it on your screens right now. Now, the thickness of your meat pie always depends on how thick or light or heavy you want your pie to be. And to cut your meat pie, you can use any lid or any bowl that have the shape or any shape of your choice to cut your pie and you are good to go now that i have the perfect shape i'm going to go in with my meat pie filling i'll close it and afterwards i'll use my finger to close it or to press it down just the way you see it on the screens right now you can also use your fork to do this and you are good to go as you can see it's very easy to follow and you will love it trust me on this one so now let's do this and while that is done we are going to go ahead and bake this now whilst we're enjoying the video if you haven't still given this video a thumbs up yet what are you waiting for can you give this video a thumbs up also share this video to your lovely friends and family for them also to enjoy this amazing meat pie recipe and trust me they are going to love it all right so now we're done filling the pie with our meat pie filling so i'll go ahead and make my egg wash i'm just going to be using egg for this okay you can add in milk if that is what you want so while that is done i'll arrange all my meat pie on my baking tray and afterwards i'll brush the toppings of this meat pie with the egg wash Alright, so after applying the egg wash, I'm going to be baking this in the oven for about 180 degrees Celsius for about 20 to 25 minutes approximately and it should be ready. Alright, so after being in the oven for about 25 minutes, this is how it turned out. It turned out really good and just perfect. Fam, let me know in the comment section what you think about this meat pie recipe and i'll be glad to read all your beautiful comments down below thank you so much for watching this video to this point and if you enjoyed to this point that means you are always a proud foodie member do it to subscribe also turn on the post notification bell and be part of this beautiful family thank you so much and kindly stay blessed Bye.